The health and safety of our employees, contractors, and visitors are of the utmost importance. The COVID-19 impact to society and the mitigation strategies, such as social distancing and shedding prevention, have impacted how work is performed across the country. As a result, this training provides guidance for protecting anyone that requires working indoors, in close contact with others, or sharing common workspaces. We hope to minimize the risk of exposure, illness, and spread of the disease. Thank you in advance for your willingness to adopt the safety measures that are presented in this training. Together, we can break the chain. COVID-19 is caused by a new coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that are common in people and in many different species of animals. The complete clinical picture of COVID-19 is not fully known. Reported illnesses that range from very mild, including some people with no reported symptoms, to severe, including illness resulting in death. The virus spreads mainly from person to person, between people who are in close contact with one another, through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. These droplets can land in the mouth or nose of people who are nearby and possibly be inhaled into the lungs. You may also contract the virus by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it, and then by touching your mouth nose or eyes. In light of how COVID-19 spreads, along with evidence of the widespread COVID-19 illness in communities across the country, you are required to wear a cloth covering to cover your nose and mouth when near other people, working indoors, and sharing a common work area or surface. This is to protect the people around you. You still may be infected, but do not have symptoms. Knowing the pros and cons of different face coverings will help you understand why a face covering is more appropriate for certain circumstances. You may not feel sick, but you could be asymptomatic. No one knows for sure if they are carrying the virus. Wearing the face covering protects others from you, and in return, they are protecting you from them. Face coverings must cover your nose and mouth. You want them to fit snugly, but comfortably against your face. Remember to make sure they are secured with ties, bands, or ear loops. Face coverings should include multiple layers of fabric while still allowing for breathing without any restriction. They also should be able to be laundered without damage or losing shape. When putting on and taking off your face covering, take care not to touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. Wash or sanitize your hands after handling your mask. Let's work together to ensure that N95 masks and surgical masks are available for healthcare providers working on the front line of defense against the virus. Protective eyewear or face shields should be used only in the short term or when working in close proximity work is unavoidable. Using eyewear will accomplish two things. First, it will reduce the likelihood of drops contacting your face. Second, it will remind people not to touch their face without first washing their hands. Safety eyewear should be washed with soap and water before and after each use. Now that you have a general understanding of COVID-19, how it is spread, and the personal protective equipment used, let's go through a typical workday from sunrise to sunset. If you wake up and you're not feeling well, please stay at home. Anyone with symptoms like fever, cough, or shortness of breath should notify their supervisor immediately. Follow the CDC recommended steps to help you get through your recovery. When you are feeling better, contact your supervisor. They will share HR's return to work process with you. If you are well, but have a sick family member at home with COVID-19, or 
have been in close contact with someone who is symptomatic, you should immediately notify your supervisor and stay home. Even if you wake up feeling healthy, a good practice is to take your temperature. Perhaps you are concerned about contracting the virus. Maybe you have young children, or you may be caring for someone who is at an increased risk. If you do not feel comfortable for any reason, contact your supervisor to work out a plan. Don't forget to put on your face covering, bring your hand sanitizer, and a paper towel. You should have your face covering on before you arrive at work. When you approach the security guards, make sure to keep your distance. You are now required to scan your badge at the secondary security checkpoints. Be careful not to touch the card reader with your bare hands. After passing the checkpoint and parking your car, it is recommended to carry your paper towel with you as you walk to your workstation. The paper towel will help you avoid touching surfaces with your fingertips. There is an increased risk of transmitting the virus when touching surfaces without a barrier. If you're going to use an elevator, take note, only three people are allowed in the cabin at one time. If you witness someone who is not following the safe at work protocol, kindly remind them. If the individual continues not to follow the safe at work protocol, or you do not feel comfortable approaching them, contact your supervisor and inform them of your concern. Supervisors will talk to the person and ensure that protocols are followed immediately while keeping all sources confidential. When you arrive at your workstation, make sure to disinfect all surfaces and the devices. If you work in an open area, make sure to clean your area frequently. It is important to wash your hands often before you leave the bathroom, grab a new paper towel for your next journey. If you are feeling sick and are at work or were physically on site within 48 hours of your symptoms developing, go home immediately and inform your supervisor. The definition of shedding, according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, means to give off discharge or expel from the body. Every single one of us could have COVID-19 without even knowing it. 
To protect ourselves and others, we must do everything possible to prevent the shedding. Avoid areas that are not in use and avoid using office equipment whenever possible. Cover your mouth and your nose with a tissue if you sneeze or cough and use the inside of your elbow. Avoid sharing equipment whenever possible. And if you do share equipment, disinfect the equipment before and after each use. You must regularly disinfect your own workstation, any shared work areas and equipment. Be sure to wipe down desks, counters, refrigerator doors, microwave controls, doorknobs, shared tools, and shared machinery. The clean room environment offers an extra layer of protection as a result of the ventilation design. Gowning rooms should be used by one person at a time. Air showers also one at a time and change your clean room garments based on your work area procedure. Increased air circulation contributes to reduce risk of exposure to the virus. During this time, it's important to eat lunch at least six feet away from anyone else, preferably much more since face coverings will be removed. Remember, six feet is a minimum distance stay as far as possible from other people. Particles can travel up to 26 feet. Clean your area before and after you eat. No one knows where the virus is. People can spread the virus before they ever know that they are sick. Face coverings may provide a false sense of security and it is imperative to maintain social distances. In addition to other safety measures, Avoid crowded areas and mass gatherings. Avoid shaking people's hands. If possible, avoid using any kind of public transportation, ride sharing, or carpooling. If you can, continue to work from home. Protect your family and loved ones. Upon arriving home, Make sure to remove your shoes before going inside. Make your first stop the bathroom, carefully remove your face covering, and wash it in hot, soapy water, or as per the CDC guidelines. To reduce the risk of shedding the virus in your home, it is important to wash the clothes that you wore during the workday. It is also smart practice to take a shower before going into the rest of your home or conversing with other people. Change your clothes and make sure you wash anything that you might have touched on your way into the home. If you or anyone else in your home starts to feel sick at any time, notify your supervisor immediately. Understanding what measures you can take and what is the most effective prevention to the least effective protection will help keep you, your colleagues, and your loved ones safe. Have symptoms? Stay home. Put on a face covering. Use hand sanitizer. Wash your hands frequently. Do not shake hands. Stay at least six feet from coworkers. Wear safety goggles or glasses, clean your workstation, and don't put yourself or others at risk. If we work from the assumption that we are all potential carriers of this deadly virus, we will protect each other at work, our loved ones, and the world. Break the chain.